Okay, in this video, we're going to touch on the very taboo subject with Gamo about lubing the piston tube. Okay, you have your mainspring, your seal in there, and they really don't encourage you to get in there. Okay, so we're just going to set this ammo back, and we're going to make points with another product. All right. Okay, now... What I love about this, it's a little, it's a miniature brake barrel. So, all right. So let's go through this. So you cock the gun. All right, you cock it. And on this model, it sets an automatic safety. That's great. Okay. On your gamo, you have to manually set the safety. Okay. So the barrel is open and you're looking to lube it. So let's talk about the dark side of the brake barrel and why Gamo, once you to stay clear of this, they don't even bring it up. Okay, here's what goes wrong. People, even with an auto safety, toggle it off. They say, what happens when I pull the trigger? And so they pull the trigger, this whip saws up and damages the gun. Okay, damages the barrel, damages the gun. Okay, other times, even with something with an auto safety, they, whatever, for whatever reason, toggled off for one reason or another, and they put their thumb or finger in that breech area. And to your thumb or your finger, when that trigger is pulling, this thing bear traps back onto your, <laughs> well, onto your thumb or your finger. It's like a guillotine. If you don't know what a guillotine is, go ahead and look it up and see what that looks like. And if you think you want that to happen to your thumb... Or your finger okay so that's that's the scary side of dealing with brake barrels when people aren't paying attention don't know what they're doing or fooling around obviously okay that's that's one now the other one putting lubes inside of the piston tube okay there's there's your let me get some good light on it there you go there's your uh transport hole that gets air up into your barrel okay all right what do they do wrong in there when it is time to lube with this product okay i shot a thousand shots time to lube Side out those, uh, they love WD-40, so they spray some WD-40 or some aerosol. I love Ballastol, but it's not for this. So they, they stick some kind of aerosol in there, and it causes what's termed as a detonation. It catches on fire or explodes in there, and your gun is toast. You're going to lose a lot of power. You just write it off as wrecked, really. Okay, so there is literally the physical danger to the shooter and your hand from pulling the trigger while this is open. And then blowing up basically the internals of your piston tube because you don't do it right. Okay. So that's why Gamo just stays clear of that and they don't really talk about it or encourage you to do it. All right. So for this company, what do they say to do? They get a lube with like this. This is air gun grade RWS silicone with a needle. Okay. So what you need to do is when you're going to do this, even on a, on a Gamo, okay, thousand shots, two tins. Okay. You practice and you have to get some idea how this works and the tempo of it. Yes, you're going to waste some, but you have to do it because once you're inside here, you're flying blind. You, it's all just instinct and guesswork. And you're one or two drops and that's it. Okay, so on this model with this company, 1,000 shots, they encourage you to get their product with this needle. And for this, we'll come in sideways. Okay, I feel the piston head right there, so I pull back slightly. You tilt it up your best guess one or two drops and get it out of there and then close it up and go shoot okay so it looks so simple and i know it looks simple and like what's the big deal well okay here's the big deal if they don't do something really stupid like spray aerosols and wd-40 in there mortar oil things that destroy your uh, seal they'll take something even right like this and decide to put the whole bottle in there Okay, and that, that's not how it's done, and that's going to cause problems. Okay, they think more is better. More is not better here. Okay, so I hope I've made Gamos stand very clear. They're extra cautious, more cautious, and let's just say RWS um, and Umarex. Okay, so can you oil this after a 1,000 shots like what I just showed? Yes, but you've got to be very careful. Know the dangers. Please be considerate, considerate to why Gamo doesn't talk about it and really encourage you to do that. Can you do it? You can. But just please take to heart everything I've said. I just want to conclude by saying 
get good with this. Wait 4,000 shots before you attempt this. On the gamo, set your safety. And you get good to know how much is coming out. Otherwise, I'm going to say, and in a way that doesn't make gamo nervous, is if you don't have this, and you don't have air gun grade silicone, you stay out of this. You stay out of your, your piston tube. You just shoot the gun and wipe it down like gamma wants you to do. Okay, thank you.